Say that again. Wait, 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 wait. Say that one more time. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for this one. Woo-wee! All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you can tell that something's going on. I got some news for you. I want you all to pay attention. This is a warning that you may have been given. Let's see. C-H. China shuts down its ports. We want this one. And then what we want to do is because we need to let you guys know that they begin shutting down their ports in August. We're going to do 2022. Okay. See, they begin shutting them down in August, August 12th. They shut down one port. Rising fears of, you know, global shutdown and supply chain issues. Okay, I want you guys to pay attention. I hope you guys pay attention because it is 100% necessary that you guys pay attention to what I'm about to say. About four days ago, maybe five, China shut down four of its major ports. Major ports. Ports that are the size of cities. Oh, you're just joking. No, actually, some of their ports are pretty huge. Look at that. This says four days ago. This says two days ago. They say it's a result of China's lockdown as a result of Omicron. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not Omicron. Y'all need to pay attention. It's Omicron and Marburg at the same time that they're dealing with. And when you talk about China's COVID zero response, Omicron may cause supply chain Let's read this so that you guys get it, okay? We're not going to read the whole article. We're just going to point it out so that you guys get it because y'all ain't going nowhere. Somebody help y'all. Somebody. What? Y'all can't hear the song in the background? This is about y'all staying alive. I didn't pick this song. This song was playing in the background, and I decided to stop the other video and do this one. I was doing another video pointing out a Jerry Kane video that was done in 2009. And that Jerry Kane video that was done in 2009, ladies and gentlemen, much of the information, very pertinent. I like the way he did his seminars. It's just that I wouldn't, there there was a session, and I know Jerry did the same thing. There's a session of the seminar where he allowed the audience to communicate, ask questions, and then he continued. And then at the beginning, he told everybody how things were going to go. Same thing that I did. Most people who've done seminars, they have a routine of keeping things organized. Ladies and gentlemen, this was done, today is the 15th. This was done two days ago. China's hardline COVID zero tolerance Omicron response. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, y'all don't get it. China has just locked down more than four major cities, including Beijing. Okay, but what you don't know is China has shut down most of its ports. Four of the largest ports in the world. China have shut down a port neighboring Beijing recorded China's first local Omicron case last week. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Zero tolerance. That port won't be operating no more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, China has shut down four of its major ports. Let me go ahead and let you guys know that the United States government is concerned that the outbreak could lead to more chaos in the global supply chain, too. Well, what you guys don't know because the United States isn't reporting it, but it was reported on coast to coast. Yeah, one of my people who is incarcerated, they listen to coast to coast. We used to talk about it. I I introduced this person to coast to coast, by the way. And we used to talk about it while I was there. And I'm not a big fan of Coast to Coast. I don't like that supernatural bull, I mean, stuff. Excuse me. I I really can't stand that supernatural stuff. Hey, Bohemian Rhapsody, ladies and gentlemen, this is the original. This is the original with Mr. Mercury. Just a pool boy. Needs no sympathy. You know, I never liked this part of this song. But I get it. I get it. I get the opera. I understand. I get the theme. 
but I also understand the Rhapsody part. Do me, mama, 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 mama. This is my song. I don't know why he killed a man and crying to his mama. Why you put a gun against his head? And what, what happened? He's dead. Mama, what else? Okay, we're going to let him go ahead and sing the song. And I'm going to go ahead and continue along. Ladies and gentlemen, let me, before we go on, explain what's going on so that you get it, why I'm telling all of you, you need to pay attention. China, most of our goods in America come from China. Most of the goods in America comes from China. Most of the goods from America comes in from, from, from China. Most of the goods in America comes from China. Or the packaging for most of the goods in America comes from China. The cups, the supplies that you need, the cardboard, the boxes, all of that. China! Y'all don't get it. You will not be getting that raise this year. You will not be getting that box of paper or that box of toilet paper. You need to know that the stuff they use to wrap that stuff with, because many of these companies have not looked into the future to find another company local or from a different country that can provide the same services that they were getting from China. They are stuck. You all are going to be stuck. This is not a, oh, no, it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. It's not that. This is reality. Ladies and gentlemen, with the very fact that the ports have shut down in China, that means that no goods are flowing. That means that all the factories have stopped producing because they are having a backup and a, black, a backlog of materials. That means that they're going to be hit hard because they can't sell anything. That means that their profit margin is going to go way down. That means that the companies here that are waiting on those products, because I got some products that I'm waiting on with Amazon that was supposed to be Amazon. Well, it turns out they weren't Amazon. They were sold by third parties. Well, I'm still waiting on one for two months now. I know some of you, two months, mother, that, that ain't nothing. I've been waiting on seven months. You know what you're talking about, two months, and my boy been waiting on it for a year and a half now. I'm so sorry that you and your boy have been waiting on something. Why don't y'all wait on that swift kick up? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Somebody told me, uh, one of the person that did a consult with tells me she has a 14-year-old son and that he listens to my videos. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that there were teenagers and younger people listening to my videos. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to tone things down because it was okay when I presumed it. But when I'm hearing people say it, yes, yes, in the past, in 2012, I met an entire family, and they talked about how the whole family sits there and listens to my videos. So, uh, I had to tone it down there. Now I got to tone it down again. I changed it. It's Eon now. I changed it, and I figured it'd be different. I don't advertise. So, I got to change it. So, I'm sorry. I apologize. Why? Because impressionable minds. Not trying to unimpressionable them. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. You all need to understand, stock up on whatever you can now. You really need to understand. Let's, let's just read this part of the article, and then that's going to be it. However, after Chinese suppliers face a pressure-filled Christmas season, China's new Omicron outbreak may not pose as much a threat to the global supply chain as they would have a few months ago. That's a lie. Factories and suppliers are already preparing for a seasonal slowdown as China enters into the Lunar New Year holiday. China's zero-tolerance lockdowns have proved adapt to stymieing what would be a far greater disruption, rampant COVID infection. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a lie. We still have those ships that are offshore. Those ships are actually going to be told if they don't return they won't be allowed back into the country. Watch. Don't take my word for it. China has a zero tolerance thing going on. They won't be allowed. Those seamen are not going to want to be at sea. So look at how long they stay waiting at the ports. 
And because they're waiting at the ports, they're going to blame it on the U.S. The U.S. is going to end up having to eat up a lot of that loss of time and monies and expenses and all that other kind of stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost 3 o'clock. I've had two consults today. I'm not going to take up y'all's time. I just really, 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 really wanted to take the time and let you guys know that with the port shutting down, you all need to start stocking up on supplies. Doesn't matter if COVID gets better or worse, you guys are going to have to stock up on supplies. If you start doing it today, take care of the rest of it tomorrow, you'll be ahead of the game. But if you wait until next week, watch and see. And I don't know how bad next week's going to be, but I do know the longer you wait, the worse things are going to get. Now, I am stocked. I have what I need. I have as much as what I need. My problem is it's wintertime, and I can't do as much as I want to do. That's the thing. So, look, I'm going to go take a nap. You're going to take a nap at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That means you're going to be up all night. You better believe I'm going to be up all night, but I'm about to go take a nap because I got work to do. And I got to do this work and get this work done because it's taking my time. I also got to install my other two virus scanners that I just uninstalled and I got to reinstall them. So I got to take care of that now. I want to thank all of you for taking the time and, you know, helping things out and helping me get to where I need to get to. Where did we help you get to? You helped me get to this quiet storm moment with Frankie, Beverly, and Maze. I'm <laughs> just kidding. This is Monkey Robinson. Frankie, Beverly, and Maze. That's so, you're so funny. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, Smokey, Quiet Stop, Robinson, in the background. We're saying goodbye. Have a good day. Have a good time. Have a good life. And we'll talk to you later. Goodbye, everyone.